One youngster says, I read in one kitab, he says, I was walking by night, my gaze fell on a strange woman, suddenly I seen myself drawn towards her, I tried to lure her and invite her, and it was a bright night, the stars were shining upon us, and I said to her, ما يرانا إلا الكواكب ما يرانا إلا الكواكب It's a bright night, it's only the stars that are shining upon us, come close to me, we could perhaps indulge and enjoy, and we could satisfy our fantasies. What an answer came from that girl. She said, You say the only the stars, we are only exposed to the stars. What about the creator of the stars? Are we not exposed to him as well? The stars will disappear, appear and disappear. But the creator of the stars, you cannot veil him, he never disappears. Zina is so, so uh, grave in the sight of Allah Azza wa Jal. I was just reading a fatwa today. It's an amazing fatwa. I never knew this before. This fatwa says that, you know, if somebody put a gun to you and said, say kufur, are you allowed to say kufur? You're allowed. You're allowed to do, to say a statement of kufur to protect your soul. But the ulama say, the majority of the ulama say, if someone put a gun to your head and force you to commit zina, it is not allowed, you're supposed to get killed. This is how grave it is. And the fatwa came that some Muslims, may Allah, may Allah uh, relieve and, and elevate their suffering, some Muslims by the kuffar, to gunpoint, they tell the person to go with his you know, relative, mother, sister. And he said, what are, we, what are we to do in this case? He said, you get killed. If it was a strange woman, you're not even allowed to approach let alone your own mother or sister. But if it was a statement of kufr, say the statement of kufr. And you don't get yourself killed. But if it's zina, no.